Successful replacement window installation begins with accurate measurement of the opening into which the replacement window is to be installed. Improper installation could result in faulty operation and may void the manufacturer's warranty. Accurately measure any opening before purchasing vinyl replacement windows. When replacing an aluminum window with a new vinyl window, you will need to construct a wood housing into which the replacement window will actually be installed. When measuring the existing window opening, the dimensions must be calculated to allow for the dimension of the housing. There are three measurements that are critical to ensuring the proper size replacement window is ordered. Width, height, square or diagonal. Accurate measurements must be taken of each window opening. Windows that appear to be the same size may in fact vary enough that separate replacement window sizes are required. Please measure each dimension in inches only and always refer to the width as the first measurement. To begin, Cut through any caulk and paint that may be adhered to the interior casing. And remove it to ensure that you can record a proper measurement. The true width is the actual measurement between the left and right of the existing rough opening in the wall, minus one and three quarter inches. This subtraction is based on using three quarter inch thick material to construct the wood housing that will be inserted into the opening, into which the replacement window will be installed. If you elect to use material that is not three quarter inches thick, you will need to adjust this formula accordingly. Remember. It's material thickness times two plus one quarter inch. When measuring the width, measurements should record the inches from stud to stud at three locations, bottom, middle, and top from the inside of the house. You will subtract one and three quarter inches from the smallest of these three dimensions as the new rough opening width. Next, measure the height from the highest portion of the sill to the header from the right side, middle, and left side. Use the same formula you use for width to determine the rough opening height of the window housing. The third measurement is necessary in determining whether or not the window opening is square. This is achieved by measuring the diagonals. First, measure from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Then measure from the bottom left corner to the top right corner. If they are equal, the opening is square. If the two measurements vary by more than a quarter inch, the opening is out of square and a smaller replacement window should be strongly considered. When ordering replacement windows, please provide the manufacturer with the width and height measurements in inches. Manufacturers use these dimensions to calculate the exact sizes of their replacement windows. Reinstall the interior casing. You will remove this casing again when the replacement window is ready to be installed. If there is an egress requirement of the replacement window, please verify its size for any applicable code. First, remove the interior casing. Then, remove the bottom sash. Next, you must remove the top sash. 
To begin, insert a putty knife between the glass panel and its frame. Carefully run the putty knife along the perimeter of the sash to break the seal. It is recommended that another person assist in this process by supporting the sash from the inside. Once the exterior seal is broken, remove the interior glazing bead to free the sash from its frame. With one person on each side of the window, carefully remove the top sash. With both sashes removed, you must now remove the window frame. First, cut through the center of the meeting rail from the exterior of the window. Then, from inside the house, pry the meeting rail away. Next, carefully cut through the sill from the outside. Using a pry bar, loosen the sill and remove it. Loosen and remove the remaining sides and top of the aluminum frame. Inspect the interior for damage or decay. Repair any problem areas as necessary. In order to install the replacement window, a wood buck housing will need to be inserted into the rough opening. This housing should be constructed in advance and inserted as one unit into the opening. Exterior stops for the buck should also be fastened in place before the window is installed in the housing. The exterior stops should only be fastened to the top and sides of the buck housing. Do not use a stop on the bottom to allow for water runoff. To begin, run parallel beads of sealant along the entire perimeter of the rough opening. Two beads ensure that adequate sealant is in place when the buck is pushed into the opening. Next, insert the pre-constructed wood buck housing into the rough opening. Check the square of the buck by measuring its diagonals. Shim as necessary by inserting wood shims on the sides and re-measure diagonals for square. Shim and measure diagonals accordingly to ensure a square opening. Measure width at the bottom, middle and top and height at the right, center, and left to make sure the buck housing is straight and not bowed. Loosely fasten the buck housing in the opening and make sure that nails pass through any shims used. Measure diagonals to check for square. And again, measure width at the bottom, middle, and top. And height from the right, middle, and left to check for void. Permanently fasten the buck into place. Shim as necessary. Remove excess shim material and adjust the buck housing as necessary.
Once you have prepared the opening for the new replacement window, you will be ready to begin the installation. To begin, run parallel beads of sealant along the bottom of the wood buck housing. and one bead along the interior side of the exterior stops. Insert the window through the opening and against the exterior stops. The window should be closed and locked for the remainder of the installation. Apply a continuous bead of sealant along the edges of the stops and casing as an internal line of defense against air infiltration and for a clean appearance. Use a paintable sealant when finishing the interior if desired. Install the interior stops. Open the sash and measure the diagonals to check for square. Access the manufacturer's screw pack for permanently fastening the window into the opening. Secure the window by screwing fasteners into pre-punched installation holes behind the sash stops at the top and bottom of each side of the window, or according to the manufacturer's specifications. If the window is equipped with balance covers, they must be removed in order to access the screw holes on the top. Do not over-tighten the screws. Allow for adjusting square and for permanent installation of the window. Check again for square. Once the window is fastened in place, reposition the sash stops and close the sash. Open and close both sashes to help determine a proper fit. Sashes should smoothly open, close and lock. With both sashes open, measure the window width at the bottom, middle, and top. Secure the jam adjusters as necessary. If applicable, replace the balance covers. Close both sashes. Replace the interior casing.
apply a continuous bead of sealant along the outside edge of the exterior casing to complete a weather barrier. Remove any excess sealant. You should also apply a bead of sealant between the outside of the wood buck housing and the exterior trim. Remove any excess sealant. Finish interior and exterior trim as designed.